the last three to four years, has the social discourse become more sulfurous or it is fumigation, you think, which was required? You know, I'm one of those who think this whole narrative about growing intolerance, sulfurous discourse is, uh, is a bit overstated. I think the big difference and a very welcome change has been the arrival of social media. I consider it one of the biggest revolutions uh, in contemporary history because it has bridged the gap between the elite and the very ordinary. On social media, you're all equal. Earlier, it's a very small segment of the intellectual elite who had access to newspaper, writing columns, or being interviewed on TV, or, or being invited to audiences like this. Uh, the rest of the people were totally voiceless. We were only passive recipients. Ordinary people were passive recipients. I belong to both the worlds. So, um, and I say both the worlds, meaning once upon a time, I was really sought after uh, by newspapers and TV, etc. But the moment I wrote this cursed book on Modi, my God, I became a persona non grata. No publisher wanted my book. I couldn't get a place to get it released. My colleagues stopped talking to me. My friends disowned me. I mean, total paria. And if it weren't for social media, I would have felt choked. I really think that and I personally enjoy even the sulfurous feedback I get because it, it holds a mirror to you. It tells you what's your real worth. Are you able to engage with a diverse set of people, all of who are not dying to admire you, um, but they are judging you on merit? Uh, are you able to deal with criticism? Are you able to deal with diversity of views, diversity? in ways of expressing themselves, it's so, it makes you emotionally and intellectually so versatile. And I find it ridiculous that people are upset and they call it growing intolerance, growing this, that, and just because somebody expresses a view which is contrary to mine or tells me, you're being a fool, doesn't mean the person is intolerant. They're telling me, please rethink. Some could be malice, but then you know how to deal with malice. It's, some, you know, it's only malice. In fact, Twitter or social media gives you the option to just block them. Real life, we don't have that option. So I personally celebrate the diversity of voices that are available, where an ordinary citizen can talk back to the prime minister, to the highest uh, political office in, in this country, to the big corporate honchos, and show, hold, the, hold a mirror to them. We should celebrate it. This is real democracy. Uh, what we had was a very tame and a very, very limiting and limited media. And so for me, it's freedom. I love it. <laughs>